walked outside today yet? Hey, maybe you work an afternoon shift of some sort. It's it's hot. OK, we're looking at sunny skies, a couple of clouds out there. No rain on the board and we're not actually expecting to see any rain for the rest of this afternoon. So when you're getting off work, when you're getting the kids home from school, we're still going to have temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. Some of us could still be at 100 degrees by the time we get to this evening. I don't think we're going to see heat advisory, but it is going to be hot and there's the rain early tomorrow morning. I think we do have a chance to see some of those sprinkles. I think the heaviest rain and the storms is going to stick to to our northwest, so not even reaching the upper valley. We're going to be on the lookout to see if anything pops up, but really it's going to be Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening brought on by the sea breeze and that front that I showed you just a moment ago. It's going to bring us some of those chances for heavier downpour. But look at this map. Most of us don't have any rain. Yes, we are going to see those rain chances, but the chances are fairly, fairly small and most of us are going to stay dry. We can only hope that over the next few days collectively each of us can see a couple drops of rain here and there, and this is exactly what that looks like. So this afternoon, Monday, the cold front reaches towards us, but changed into a stationary front. We're going to see it stall out classic, right? We're not going to see those change in temperatures. The only thing we're going to see is those rain chances with increased moisture along with the sea breeze picking up some of that giving us rain chances lasting into maybe Thursday, hopefully Friday if we're lucky. Now in terms of our severe weather threat, we could see a couple of storms and tomorrow afternoon and evening we could even see a strong storm or two, but all in all we're not expecting severe weather with this. We're talking about just those general thunderstorms. Last time we had one of these weak frontal boundaries push through, we did see one storm get named severe. So of course we're going to be on the lookout, but that's not a main concern. Now we are especially excited to see any sort of more rain because over the last 30 days. We're still in those yellows and oranges, which is, you know, 30% of normal rain for this time of year. Raymondville 18, Harlingen 15. And remember, September is typically one of our rainier months. It's just not happening. How much rain are we looking to get through the end of the week? Barely anything. Remember, this is just an estimate, so we could see localized heavier amounts where we get those downpours. But the big story is we have slight rain chances over the next few days. We could see a couple of storms, but all in all, we're looking at very small rain totals over the next few days. A quick look at today since we kind of talked about the next few days. Here's a detailed look at what you have for today. Temperatures reaching the mid to upper 90s this afternoon. Looking at mostly clear skies overnight. We're going to see us dip back down into the mid 70s and remember early tomorrow morning we could catch a shower too, but I think our best chance of rain is going to be Tuesday afternoon, not Tuesday morning. So Monday sunny and hot Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. There's those chances for showers and storms. Everybody keep your fingers crossed that we get a little bit of rain.